I enjoy the positive emotions. Now, the thing is when the negative emotion comes, defi defi that definitely disturbs and disturbs my work. So, I have, of course, I have observed many type of meditations and all. Some extent it must have reduced. Whether this yoga, what you are teaching or what you are giving, can I burn totally all negative emotions, whatever, which is in me? Can you support in that direction? So, you want to get rid of all your… All negative, yes. negative emotions, yes. yes. It will… there are two factors in this. My first… <clears throat> the answer to you is, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Firstly, it will depend upon the regularity of your purusharth, on your effort, your regular effort. You see? The second is your karma. Some people have bad karma, some have good karma. It's just Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So, it depends on how many mini traumas or mini reactions you have created which are negative from your past, past. and this life, which have coalesced in your collective subconscious. Kriya Yoga is a method of churning out this negativity and spewing out all the negative unconscious thoughts, all the toxins of the body. So, for this you definitely have to do Satat Abhyas. Now, what happens in some cases that when a person starts, he gets so much of negativity coming up, bubbling up that he says, oh, hey, I was better off when I didn't do Kriya. It's going so bad, I'm feeling so depressed. That's the test where you should not stop. If you carry on and overcome that, of course, you need a little, you can stop for a few days and carry on. If you overcome that, then you are a victor. Then you will defeat all your negative emotions. A human being is a human being. You see, like we say, Pratyekache Aishat Un Saule Astat. There's ups and downs in everybody's life. Take it like a man. And I think that Kriya Yoga tends to positivity. And uh, I think, yes, it's a question of time. Two people came to me and they said, can I get rid of negativity? One, one fellow came and he got rid of negativity within the first 20 days. The next fellow took three months. And the third chap got it done after two and a half years. So they said, why this difference? I said, it's like Kriya Yoga is like cleaning of the lamp glass. We have a kandil or a, a lantern. The kandil gets soot in it. So if the soot is thick, it takes more time to show the flame of positive life. And if the soot is less, Kriya Yoga cleans it quicker. But the cleaning is still going on. So, Kriya Yoga is a process of cleaning the lamp glass of your body and mind. And so, do not be discouraged. It must work. It has to work. You, you know, like I used to read when I was small, a person, he projected his pran and other people are breathing through his breath. We read some things about of Abhinav Gupta, where he said one of the highest initiations is to breathe through the breathing of the disciple, which I give you. So, I said, is this to be given to the common public? But who knows whether they are the common public. They may be advanced souls of a past life. They've already done it. So, when you give this, when you release the pran, Kriya Yoga practice can make you do that. And it will get you on the positive upside. It is a lightning path. So, all your karmas are going to come down upon you. You have to be brave. What's the next question? Guruji, do you give initi uh, initiations and mantra diksha individually? When I give initiation? Mantra diksha individually? Yes, the initiation consists of a very powerful mantra itself. The, the initiation consists of a mantra. And uh, mantra is that which comes from the mind and st its ripples steady the mind. It, mantra comes from the heart, its ripples steadies the mind. So, Kriya Yoga itself is a great Maha Mantra. Yes. If I want to meditate from tomorrow, what do I do? I mean, you said you should… Uh, nobody can meditate. Sit for meditation or something. Listen, nobody can meditate. Meditation happens as a result of sadhana. What is sadhana? Kriya Yoga is sadhana. Sadhana is the practice of spiritual growth. Right? It is the practice of 
you practice, you toil, you till the soil, you put manure, you put an Alfonso mango tree. You can't, you can't say I'm mangoing. You can't. You have to do the sadhana first. You say, can I sit for mango? Ah. <laughs> mango will happen if you do the mehnat. If you do sadhana, if you do the practice of spiritual growth, which is t tilling the soil, giving the miniature, mango will happen as a result of your practice of spiritual growth. In the West, they have a very less concept of what is sadhana. Yeah. So, sadhana is a continuous process of self-disciplined evolutionary action. Sadhana is satat abhyas and satat abhyas produces vairagya. So, the fruit of vairagya will come through the repetitive practice of Kriya Yoga. It must be continuous and it must be repetitive. And Kriya Yoga has that. Because Kriya Yoga is not for the lazy. And if you breathe continuously, the laziness will also go. So Kriya Yoga is a process of spinal breathing. It evolves your consciousness. It, it pierces the knots in your spine, which is called the Shada Chakra Bhedan. It is a very advanced sadhana, which the Himalayan great masters have made simple for the grahastha to practice. It is for householders to practice. Kriya Yoga, ek sanjeevani sadhana hai. And you can conquer and overcome death like yogis of the Himalayas. Jo pran prane sanjeevani wo sache yam ka dharani. Yam ko bhi mat kar sakta hai. Jo pran paan yagya karta hai. Is liye pran paan yagya. Aap nishit ki jiye. And then there comes a time when you can say, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? <laughs> so, Kriya Yoga is, I mean, whatever I say of Kriya Yoga is less. And that's why it necessitated me to give you the experience, to show you the difference. I'm not saying I'm inferior to others. I'm not saying I'm superior. I'm just saying I'm one of the few people who has given you the experience of Kriya Yoga, already given you Anugraha on Kriya Yoga without you asking for it so easily. Because my Bhandar is full, my Bhandar is Babaji. I've got zillions of dollars, zillions of Neel, Arb, Nikharb, or Padma, Padma Sankhya ke paise hai hamare paas. To hum baat sakte hai. Ek bhikari dusre bhikari ko nahi baat sakta. Gautam Buddha ne tyak kiya. Ab bhikari bolega, mene bhi tyak kiya, mere paas kuch nahi. Are tu bhikari, tere paas tha kya tyak karne ko? Woh to raja tha. Gautam Buddha to raja tha, Gautam Buddha ne tyak kiya hai. To har bhikari Bambai ka bole ki, mein Gautam Buddha hoon, kyunki mene tyak kiya. Jhoot baat. Uske baat. I am not going to do this. Yanathar went and said in the West, he said, Had India no other gift to offer to the world, Kriya Yoga and Raj Yoga would itself suffice as a kingly offering. This is the words of Yanathar Sri Yukteswar. So this is very good and I hope you people take the most of advantage. I promise you this I can vouch if I am in America and you call me and say, Gurunath, there are 40 people sitting in a circle. We've kept your asana here. Can you give us a Shakti path from United States of America? I will do it. So, because I have the wherewithal, you have to go to the guru who has the wherewithal. So, if I'm in Greenland or Europe or, or Italy or anywhere, and anything comes in the way of your Kriya Yoga, I'm prepared to remove. But if, you, if you're not a spiritual practitioner towards God, I will first attend to the spiritual practitioners those of you who are practicing Kriya Yoga, then I'll see others who are not practicing.